Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations and also the Patreon family. And we newly added Venmo, so you can send donations via Venmo. Appreciate that. Now, I'm just making a follow-up video to a video I already did. And I told you guys, Ego Rumor Mill, that it was looking like Jeff Horn was getting ready to face Gary Corcoran. And now it looks even more likely to happen in December in Australia. And I just want to give my thoughts on it. I, I think, see, Top Rank does this sometimes where they'll throw out all these names. Oh, Pacquiao rematch and Terrence Crawford, Jesse Vargas and throw out various names and it's never those names it's someone like worse and they've done this with pacquiao they'll be oh pacquiao might fight broner danny garcia mikey garcia lucas matisse amir khan I'm like oh wow those all sound good and then he ends up fighting bradley three which i thought he beat bradley the first two fights he didn't look spectacular in the first fight but i thought he did enough to win same thing with uh, Jeff Horn. I understand he came off a, a tough Pacquiao fight, got stitches. But who is Gary Corcoran? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just crazy. He's the, At the end of the day, he's the WBO champion. So I understand wanting to build up a fighter. But put him in there with Crawford, see what he could do. I mean, that to me, that's, that's a good fight. Crawford hasn't had the experience at 47 yet. So see what he could do. You know what I mean? They're in the division, as I as I see it, welterweight division is far too stacked. Where you could find someone, even if you don't go with the top five, like put them in there with the Errol Spence Jr. I knew that wasn't going to happen. So to me, that that makes the Jeff Horn call out of Floyd Mayweather and Errol Spence Jr. look laughable, because he was like, "Hey Mayweather, you you want the gloves or the the walking stick and all this, right?" And now you're fighting Gary Corcoran, most likely. You called out Errol Spence, and you said you wanted that man down action, and you're fighting Gary Corcoran, likely. So those weren't serious call-outs because, you know what I'm saying, you got to demand more from your team than to provide that. And like I said, in my opinion, the welterweight division is far too stacked where you're drawing from the Gary Corcorans of the world. And realistically, I'm not saying he's terrible because I, I really don't know anything about him to judge. I just seen his box wreck and he's already been beaten. It's just like, how is that? How is this a uh, uh, acceptable title defense? Like, there's tons of guys who aren't necessarily top five, but they're middle of the road guys. That would be good. Like, let's say Adrian Broner. Um, you know, what I mean, guys who maybe have had re recent losses. Amir Khan, Victor Ortiz, Josecito Lopez, Luis Calazo. You know, what I mean, anybody like that. But Welterweights too packed for champions to fight Gary Corcoran you know what I'm saying and the double standards new media style let me point it out is when certain fighters like Deontay Wilder if he's going to fight a guy that people haven't heard of Eric Molina or Johan Duhapas they say he, he's all these names and bum squad if Errol Spence were to fight a guy the caliber of Gary Corcoran I mean what would people say He's a champion because people were trying to make it an issue if, if Errol Spitz were to fight Colazzo or Lamont Peterson. You know what I mean? Some people were like, oh, why? But both of those fighters and fights, I think, are better than Horn um, Cockroach or whatever his name, Cor Corcoran. So to me, I, I really I feel like top rank Duco events, Jeff Horn's team, they're really missing the mark here because they have a champion. And like I said, I could understand putting him in not necessarily the big, like a Crawford or Errol Spence straight away off of a, you know what I mean, championship win that was disputed and, and controversial. But you, you could put at least a known name, uh, like Jose Cito Lopez, Jesse Vargas, Amir Khan. Those are all good fights. But 
It's my two cents. Just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.